We're going to do a review of two solar batteries today. Both of them are from iStack, again. Uh, one is iStack solar battery uh, I101, a smaller one. Um, this one is 1,300 milliamperes. And this is a bigger one, 9,005, for almost 3,000 milliamperes. The biggest and most potent battery from the portable class on the US market. Uh, let's start with the little one. Uh, as you can see in the box, that's pretty much tells everything about the devices that it works with. Mobile phones, digital camera, PDAs, MP3s, MP4 players. Uh, when you open it, there is a little uh, manual that tells you everything you need to know about how to use the battery. The battery itself, neatly packaged brick. If you look at it in the light, you can see the crystalline nature of the solar panel. Uh, that's the type of the solar panel used in this battery. And uh, actually, it is one of the most effective types at the moment. It produces about 15% of return of the energy from the sunlight. And in fact, you can also charge this battery from the AC power if you need to charge it and take it with you later. Here comes the handy adapter for that. You plug one side to the battery, right here. And another side you plug into the adapter and then plug it into the wall. And in about three hours, you have a fully charged battery that would be enough to power your usual average cell phone, uh, maybe even twice. This light indicates that the battery is getting enough sunlight or any other light to be charged. So when you see the ultraviolet going on, that means that your the battery is getting enough energy and your device is going to be charged from it. In the box, there comes five different adapters for different types of mobile devices, including cell phones, which I have here on the table, uh, MP3, MP4 players, that would be this mini USB adapter, as you see, and uh, Ericsson, Samsung, and Nokia type of cell phones. But we'll get to that a little later because we do have a bigger device here on the table that actually is about, uh, has the power of about two of these little ones. This one is i9005 and it comes in a different package. It comes in a protection sheet, electromagnetic protection sheet. That's the battery itself, which is foldable. You can neatly and conveniently open it when you need to. You can, of course, first of all, peel off the protection layers so it picks up the sunlight better. <laughs> and uh, you can charge it either leaving it out in the sun, like this, or you can also uh, plug it into the electric outlet, just like the other one. Uh, that's how it's laid out in, inside. There are seven different adapters, uh, AC adapter. The way this battery works, again, you can either power it separately plug into the wall and one side to the battery. On this side of the battery you have a DC in plug, that's where it goes. It takes about four or five hours to charge the battery completely from zero to full. And the very neat thing about this specific one, besides of the fact that it has all these different adapters bundled with it, uh, is this switch on the side of it. If you take a look, it has a different voltage adjustments from four and a half to nine volts. That means that you can charge different devices from it. Uh, some cell phones use 5 volts power, others use using 8 volts power. There are some MP3 players that are using 4.5 uh, voltage. Uh, it can also charge uh, mobile portable GPS units. So uh, this switch will not use the energy more efficiently for your device that you're charging, but as well will protect the battery of your cell phone because you will not be harassing the 5 volt battery with a 6 volt output you can actually set it up to 5 volts and, and charge it precisely. On this side panel of the battery, you can see the switch that you turn into the on position, then you connect the battery to any of the devices that you want to charge. In this case, we have a cell phone media player, a GPS unit. So you put the right tip that, you, that fits your device onto this cord, plug it into the PDA, and if you have chosen the voltage output correctly, your PDA will show that actually it is charging. That's simple. This battery, uh, the smaller one can charge uh, two of the regular cell phones on one charge. This one can charge four PDAs easily on one charge when it's completely charged. Also, if, even if it's not really uh, charged well, you can just open it in the sunlight, leave it up for three minutes, after that, you can connect the device to that and start talking on the device immediately. It'll be already charging it just directly from the sun. So that's the cool part about this battery. Also, there is another neat little thing about it. 
Unlike any other battery on the market, this one is also equipped with the bright LED light. <laughs> really bright. This battery has a bit different indication of being charged. When there is enough sunlight or any other light falling on the photo panels, uh, this red light starts to blink or either uh, or just goes bright red. This is an indicator that the battery is being charged. Uh, if you plug the device into the battery right now, it will charge it as well. Also, this indicator shows how much of the power is left on the battery. When it is in on mode, this light right here indicates about 50% of the battery. If it goes darker red, it means that it's closer to 25. And if it's green, it's anywhere between 70 and 100% charge. So these two batteries that uh, I've shown you guys today are capable of charging all of these devices, from portable GPS unit to MP3, MP4 players that you have. That includes Zoom, uh, iPod, any other types of players. Here we do have Kio. Um, different cell phones, regular cell phones, Spring, PCS, uh, Samsung, Motorola, Sony, anything. And the bigger PDA units. Although for the bigger PDA units as well as for GPS units, I definitely recommend to use the bigger battery because that has a more capacity and more potential output for those devices.